Hi everyone. So I'm sitting in a cafe before Christmas eating sushi and I receive a message through Instagram. Do you want to have tea with a Russian? Meet Sergey from Moi Chai in Russia. He's a massive uh, YouTuber as well on tea if you speak Russian and see what we talked about. Hi, I really like uh, to meet you here. It's my first uh, interview in English. So first, sorry for my English. It's not an original one. <laughs> he says that, but his English is really, really good. <laughs> Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about yeah. is, um, this is Sir, your first visit to Australia? Yeah, okay. first. In Australia, um, our tea culture is predominantly based on black tea mm -hmm. and English style preparation. Mm -hmm. And I think we have had Chinese tea here for a really long time, mm -hmm. but um, it's just never really mm -hmm. grown that much. Mm -hmm. So tell me about Russia. What's the tea maybe it's world like? Maybe it's because we just drinking tea for a long, long time and yeah. we are not a coffee country like a lot of Europeans countries and also I also see that uh, uh, Australia also have a lot of coffee but Russia much less uh, so we have a long tradition of drinking tea uh, but it was not uh, like a traditional Chinese it was uh, first it was but originally in the beginning it, be, it comes from China yeah, maybe okay. Russia one with, one was uh, one of the first countries who uh, received uh, tea from China, and in uh, eighty maybe in, in yeah yeah it, in eighty century we have a uh, road uh, from China uh, to Russia by from through Siberia. Yeah. It was like a like a Siberian trail, okay. and for that time. Uh, we just start to love it. So maybe more than three, four hundred years, we just drinking tea. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in uh, 19th century, uh, it came like a local tradition, not only for the rich people, because uh, for that time already road must mm, become more cheaper because it uh, also have a road through the sea, not only through Siberian, Siberian uh, rail and uh, cheap tea become really more cheaper and it start to be like a national drink and uh, at the same time we have a lot of drinking alcohol and the government and also tea sellers yeah. they found a nice way for promoting for promoting uh, this kind of uh, business uh, through their selling tea they just okay we, you need to stop drinking alcohol you need to drink uh, tea Okay. And also you can uh, just throw this, throw this type of uh, drinking, you can uh, stop to drink uh, alcohol and tea is bad for your, uh, good for your health. Yeah. Tea is uh, very... Uh, oh, so the government yeah, 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 promoted yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, government promoted and especially promoted uh, with the sellers of tea, of course. Yeah. And uh, for that time tea becomes uh, pretty popular with uh, tea, tea clubs, tea rooms in Russia. In Russia. Uh, it was maybe each small city have a like it called China, like a tea room in Russia, yeah. and uh, it was really popular. A lot of people drink tea, uh, use like uh, natural energetic and so on, uh, rich, poor, and anyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Soviet time, it was also pretty popular. Uh, maybe a strong love to tea becomes also because of some um, presence, a lot of. Uh, uh, people who is in prison just start to drink tea too. Okay. A, a lot of and pretty strong. We call yeah. it chiffier. So we have a different connections from the culture uh, statements in Russia. Mm -hmm. And also this third one because we also not so Western in mind. Yeah. We have we have, a, we have a, like middle, our mentality is middle be, 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 between Western between Eastern. So Eastern culture yeah. after uh, after opening after Soviet Union crashed just come into Russia in 90s and mm -hmm. a lot of people just love it because they feel it's not like something esoteric or something really special which comes from other country someone just feel it like they own you just feel like it, it's also like part of our culture right? like part of uh, mm -hmm. our feeling of tea and uh, this is why Gunfoch High and uh, this traditional brewing and the clubs explore and pretty quickly 
uh, still uh, in small cities, especially in small cities, still it is like uh, some, mm. oh, it's very new one, I don't know what is it, and need to be well, discovered still. But in big, big cities, uh, maybe I can't count it, but maybe mm. up to 30, 40 percent of people just know what is it, some yeah. Chinese ceremony tea clubs. Right. And maybe up to 5 to 10 percent already into, maybe not just okay. having all these uh, uh, tea sets in the, in the house, but they just know, oh, there is a poor tea, oh yeah, I heard it, or, or okay. there is a Ulun tea, something like that. Yeah. And it's growing. Yeah, so it is growing. growing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's ah. growing.